Hello guys, this is Joshua Matthew. Thank you for coming back. If you are old here and if you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a flyer like this. In this tutorial, I'm going to use 4x4 four four inches. Then my resolution will be 200. Then click on great now i have this then from now i'm going to select or bring the backgrounds i'm going to use in these tutorials so here are the background i'm going to use now scale it out Then go to filter, blur, then select Gaussian blur. Then the number here I select is 15.3. You can make it 15. Okay. Now, now I'm going back again to select this image. Then scale it. Like this. Then apply a blending. Like this. Now I'm going to select screen. Scale it out a bit. Then reduce the opacity. To 49. All right. Then I'm going to bring this flare here. I'm going to scale it. Then I will select soft light. Then reduce the opacity to 86. All right. Then now bring the church logo. Position it. Now, I'm going to copy my test. Ctrl C to copy. Then select your test to and you paste. Ctrl V. Then I'm going to change the font. Then we will change it to bold then I'm going to use the right alignments then bring it here then I'm going to change the font color I'm going to copy it, Ctrl C. This is the font color here. Then Ctrl V to paste it here. That is it. Then I'm going to copy 
Youth Fellowship, Control C, then Control J to duplicate this test here. You drag it here. Double click, Control V to paste. Then I'm going to change the fonts, um, the color to white. Then make it extra bold. Then increase the fonts. Like this. Then OK. Then I'm going to apply a shadow on this test. It's okay. Now, again, I'm going to copy this test here, Ctrl J to duplicate it, then I'll drag it here, I'll double click on it, then go to here and Ctrl C to copy it, then come here and Ctrl V to paste it. Then I'm going to change the font color to white. Then Ctrl 8 to apply alignment. Then I'll click on the center alignment. Then select the Youth Fellowship. Then align it to center. Then Ctrl D to, to deselect. Now I'm going to copy the test here, Ctrl C, then I'll copy the present here, Ctrl J to duplicate, then highlight the test, Ctrl V to paste, then I'm going to scale it all right now I'm going to change the font to a vertical insert Then I will change the font color to this orange color, then OK. Then I will scale it out a bit like this, then Ctrl A, then apply center alignment. Ctrl D to the select. Then I will also duplicate this one. Ctrl J. Then bring it down. Double click to highlight. Then I will copy this praise. Then I will paste it. Ctrl V. Then I'm going to change the font color to white. Then I will also change the font to radical demos. Then I'll drag it here. Then Increase the size like this, then OK. Then I will also duplicate the test up here, Ctrl J.
then double click to alight then i will copy god then paste it i'll bring it here then scale it out this way it's okay now i have something like this then what i'm going to do next i will apply a blending style so in this layer style then i will select smooth here then under the style it will be inner bevel then my size is going to be 9 the depth is 115 then I will leave the rest like this then I will go to the inner glow then this inner glow I'm going to copy this color style here then I'll come to this place, Ctrl V to paste it. Then I have something like this. Okay. Then I'll also come back to satin. Then I have the same color here. Then I'll leave the rest like this. Gradient color. Then I have an orange color here. Then Ctrl V, then to paste the color, then OK. Then come back to drop shadow, then I'll now apply my shadow. The blend mode is 100%. Yeah, sorry, the blend mode is normal, opacity is 100. Then my color, uh, my size here is going to be 8. Then distance going to be three and four and the spread is going to be six. Then I will apply. Now I will hold my hot key, then drag it down. And leave it then automatically I copy the layer style of this place to here then I will click on the place then go to my drop shadow then I will apply a shadow here I will increase the distance then reduce let it be 8, the size will be 8, then OK. Now, what I'm going to do next is to bring the image of the pastor. Now that I have something like this, then what I'm going to do is to bring a rent angle, I'll draw it here, then I will apply this orange color here, okay. Then. Select the test here, hold your shift key, then 
control G, then I'll rename it test. I'm going to rename this one background. Right now, I will copy the host, then white color. Select your test tool, then you control V to paste. Then I'm going to change the color here to black. Then move it here. Hold your control key and select the rent angle. Then go to your alignment to select center alignment. Then now I'm going to copy the pastor name. Control C to copy. Then duplicate the host control J. You bring it down then control V to paste then control J again Then copy the pastor name. Then you paste. Then apply it center alignment so that it will be equal with the rest. Then now I have something like this. What I'm going to do next again, then I'm going to draw a rent angle like this over here. Then apply yellow, I mean the orange color here. Then again select, then you drag again. Like this then you drop your tools here then drag it here then I'm going to apply a drop shadow reduce the distance then increase the size a bit to 16 then you have something like this then okay 
now what i'll do next is to bring my calendar reduce the size Select the tool here, then apply center alignment. Then go to your image adjustment, then hue and saturation. Then the brightness should be black. Then you have something like this. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate. This rent angle, Ctrl J. Then hold your shift key, then you drag it down. Then bring your time. Then hold your control key, select the bolt, apply center alignment. Then go back to image again, adjustment, then hue, then you bring this one to the, uh, the brightness to, to black, then something like this. Now. The next thing is to copy the dates, then select your test tool, Ctrl V to paste, Ctrl C, then Ctrl V to paste. Then change the color to white. Then the test to a vertical insert. Then I'm dragging it here. Now I'm going to apply drop shadow. Okay. The size is four, the spread is three, and the distance is three. All right. Now I'm going to copy January Ctrl C to copy, the Ctrl J to duplicate the test, then you drag it down, our light, then Ctrl V to paste, then drop your tool, reduce the size, Now, I'm going to duplicate this again, Ctrl J. Then, copy 2020. Align the test, then Ctrl V to paste. Then, scale it out. Now, I'm going to select the tree, then use my arrow key, then to move it up, this way, 
then I will draw a separation line here then apply center alignment click out then apply drop shadow like this then okay then i'm going to copy time ctrl c to copy then ctrl j to duplicate then ctrl v to paste then a light OLED line then come to your font size then you increase the size then come back to am you highlight it and then you decrease the size a bit okay then you have something like this now i will copy the location here ctrl c for test two then ctrl v to paste then select your left align test then i'm going to change the color to this orange color then change the font to railway then make it bold seven Then now I light only the address, then change it to white, then OK. Alright, now we have something like this. Ctrl G to group them then location Ctrl G time date time and date pastor so this is how it comes to have this now I will increase then 
and take it up a bit so now this is how the flyer will design the, the next things I'm going to do I will hold my control shift and alt key then E then I'll have this one here I'll go to my pizza then camera raw feature now I will apply some adjustment here it's okay now this is what I have so thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe